This video reveals a little known hack to write the methodology for your research paper for a Q1 Scopus Index journal that will drastically improve the chances of your paper getting published. You will see live how I gave feedback to a researcher on her research paper to make the methodology much more precise, concise and ready for a Q1 Scopus Index journal. So we are thinking of maybe cutting some of the methodology. Mm. Stage two, okay, yeah. I think there are some things that, you know, that they might not give many words, but it's also a place to start. Like this could be cut to maybe like one or two sentences, like something like this study employee a mixed method approach to investigate the impact of a tutor-led, tutor-led goal setting intervention on the Chinese students. Like we could probably say something like, could even be something like this, you know, um, mm -hmm. right? So you mean I do not need to explain this figure? Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm just thinking, yeah, like it's just an idea how to maybe cut it. Or it could even be deleted, the figure, essentially, because you explain everything like below anyway. Mm -hmm. Yes. So what information were you like thinking to put in the appendix? Uh, at the end of this paragraph, from a high okay. overall retention rate was observed okay. with, after yeah. this sentence. Yeah. And uh, until the, the end of this paragraph, do you think should mm -hmm. I... Uh, I just delete yeah. this sentence. Yeah, you, then... could, you could potentially delete all of this, actually. You know, like with all the cuts that we're doing, what, what might happen... Like mm -hmm. when you submit this, it, it, reviewers might say, I want more information about this. Why, yeah. you know, there is too little information about participants. So we have to bear um, it in mind that like, you know, you might cut stuff that later on you might need to add. So it will okay. be good to like keep two separate documents as well. But I don't think like cutting this will mean that your paper, paper will be rejected, you know? Okay. Like it's, um, it's like more detailed information basically. And some of it like like this, for example, this is more about mm -hmm. the procedures, not really about the participants. So I think this can be cut as well. Yeah. Uh, but should I put it this one, the, the highlight one you just selected to mm -hmm. the footnote because it's about time one, time two and time three. What's the explicit date? I collected the data. So th that would be more than about the data collection. No, not about the participants. So like if you wanted to mm -hmm. add it somewhere, it would go in the part where you like describe the procedure or the intervention. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because it's mm. not in the participants. I am trying to find something from this this part, but I found it's the core yeah. section. Yeah. So Yeah. For example, this I think this is this is good what you're doing, right? Because you're kind of justifying why you use this tool and stuff like this. But again, I think this mm -hmm. could potentially be just shortened to one sentence, something along the lines of like this study um, utilized the goal um, achievement tool, and here mm -hmm. you put the reference right to the Dr. Hugo Alberts to his study, which has been shown to be effective and versatile tool for X, Y, and whatever, right? But we could essentially mm -hmm. just cut it to one sentence, right? So that the justification is just much shorter, you know? Yeah. So, I mean, this is not, yeah. you know, this, these are not big changes that will cut us a thousand words, but if we do this mm -hmm. consistently, like you might get the word count quite a lot. Okay. Yeah, I, I got questions. it. And uh, for, for the mirrors, do you think should I explain it one by one for these three, uh, for these two mirrors? Oh, I just nice. mentioned uh, what mirror I used and uh, then put it all in the appendix. Should I also briefly explain the structure of, uh, I mean, the, the second paragraph? Mm. Yeah, yeah, we can. Hold on, just looking at this measure, please. Yeah, I'm thinking also how to kind of shorten this maybe to one paragraph, you know? Mm, uh, yeah, you you might need to cut some information, but you know, but maybe you could say here while they was used to assess three types of motivation, you know, something like this, mm. like and then you know it could say like both scales have been demonstrated by previous studies to be I don't know valid or effective or whatever mm -hmm. the word is, right? And then yeah. here you put references. Um, okay. Yeah, like each of them consists of, uses a seven point Liker type mm -hmm. scale. Yeah. Right? Because this is the same information. So we could we could put it here, uses Liker scale. If you wanted to, you could say how many items there are and then mm -hmm. also say like, you know, uh, 
the surveys are available in the in appendix whatever that makes sense right okay this might be a little mm. bit too short you know you could like we don't want to go to the extreme where you know you're not mm. providing enough valid information but what i'm yeah. trying to show you is like basically what you can do after this call to try to show them that, you know okay. so like mm. i i don't know that your study you'll be better able to, to say kind of like mm -hmm. what is yeah. enough and what isn't enough information but that's essentially yeah. i think where you need to go with this with the methodology and like just to highlight that everything that you have here is you know it's good information it's not like you included something wrong but we just mm. trying to like cut it down as much as possible so providing yeah. like the minimum viable amount of detail yeah. that Okay. allows the reviewer to understand and follow the, the, the methodology you know yeah would that, would that make sense in terms of like what to cut from the methodology do you think yeah yeah, yeah. i i totally agree yeah mm. okay now that you know exactly how to write the methodology for your research paper for a Q1 Scopus Index journal, you might be wondering how to ensure that your papers get accepted in those journals. In this next video, I reveal four little known reasons why up to 90% of papers get rejected from Q1 Scopus Index journals and show you a proven process to have three papers accepted in those Q1 journals in the next 12 months. So watch this video next.